Hello everyone! So today I'm going to be talking about a new skin regimen I'm going to be starting. So if you watched my unregimented skin regimen, I had mentioned that I was wanting to try something, um, a specific brand, for like 30 days and see if it really makes a difference with my skin. So a few people reached out and said that they recommended Rodin and Fields, Rodan and Fields, Ro Rodin and Fields, r and F. Um, so I just got my package in the mail yesterday. It is the Recharge Regimen. Um, it comes with a super cleanser, a moisturizing treatment, which is like a, a moisturizer, and then a Protect and Blur Broad Spectrum SPF sunscreen, um, which I've heard can be used as like a primer for your makeup as well. Um, my friend Chrissy sent me a few samples as well, so I have the Moisture Attracting Younger Acting um, hydrating serum. So I'll be trying that with this. Um, I'm going to check out the makeup today as well, but those are just samples. So for the next 30 days, this will be the only face wash, moisturizer, and primer I will be using. I will be doing my normal makeup routine for when I actually do makeup, um, but as far as face wash, we're going to see if this works better than my Trader Joe's face wash. So let's get started. Okay. So they're pretty decent sized bottles. Um, it should last me a while. We'll check in at the end of the 30 days and see how much I've used from them um, just to kind of get an idea of how long they will last me. Also keep in mind that I'm going to try to do my like morning, night, every single day type of thing, but I'm human and I'm probably going to miss a day or two. So yeah, let's lather up this. 3-in-1 Super Cleanser, so I don't have any makeup on, but look at that, very, very foamy, that's kind of cool, I feel like if anything that like gives like the placebo effect that like it's doing stuff. It feels nice. It doesn't really smell like anything. Okay, I'm going to rinse it off. It was pretty hard to to wash off, so I feel like, I don't know if that's a good sign, because it really like adheres to your skin to get all that cleaning done. Okay, and so since I have the samples of the hydrating serum, it says to use that Chrissy wrote it on there, um, to use before your moisturizer. Kind of feels oily. I feel like I need to like, let it dry before I put on my moisturizer. I use the door as a fan. Okay, so now we're going to, oh, that's step three. Now open step two. Um, I'm assuming I just do like a pump. I feel like the, the stuff goes a long way. Oh, it says apply two to three. So let's try two and see. Mm. I like the moisturizer. It's very lightweight. My skin does feel a little sticky from the hydrating serum though, but it'll probably be good because it's really smoky outside from all the fires in Napa and Sonoma, and um, I feel like my skin and my lips have been drying out. Okay, and then last but not least, we're going to do the Protect and Blur. Oh, this looks like a primer. I don't know. If it'll, there we go. Oh, that's my favorite right there. That smells so good. So I'm gonna really make sure I put that in like my T-zone, which tends to be in the oiliest. Okay, so day one complete. I will check back throughout and then at the end of the month we will compare the pictures that I took last night to day 30 pictures. Good morning! So it has been a whole month of using RNF and 
Uh, I did cave. I know I said that I was going to only use this, but my dark circles underneath my eyes started coming. Um, and I'm sure that Rodan and Fields has a great eye cream, um, but I already had some. And so I just decided to kind of start using that because I was looking like a corpse. First, I'm going to wash my face so that way you can kind of see what it looks like when it's clean. Oh, and I'm washing it one handed. So I found that ever since I broke my wrist, um, I've been using probably a little bit more than I normally would have, but it's kind of hard to squeeze out just a dying size, like, amount. So, yeah. Okay, so now that my face is washed, I'll follow with the moisturizer and the primer. Um, so, it's been a month. How do I feel? Um, I don't feel like my skin has really changed a whole lot, um, but I do feel like it's been more even. So, and I don't mean that in like terms of color, I mean just like usually, I'm sorry if this is TMI, but around my period time like I will break out around like my chin, like hormone acne. Um, and I don't know if I even call it hormone acne, it's more like just like a pimple here and there. Um, but I haven't found that my skin has been doing that, like it's just pretty chill. Like I haven't had any big pimples appear, um, knock on wood. And so for that I like, I'm enjoying it. I feel like it's been just kind of solid and chill. Um, but other than that, I don't feel like I see a major difference in like the appearance of my skin. Um, it does look a little brighter, but it's also hard to tell because I am getting paler because it's getting colder. Um, so uh, yeah, um, I do feel a little bit dewier and I don't know if I like that because it's, it's almost like I feel a little bit more oily. Um, but I don't know. I was talking to my friend last night and she said that you really can't determine how a skin product like affects you in just a month. Um, but my impatient self wishes that wasn't the case. So I'm going to keep using it. Um, I definitely like the product. The primer is my favorite. It smells so good. But coming from someone who doesn't have problem skin and knock on wood, hopefully that doesn't change. It's really hard for me to justify spending a hundred dollars on a regimen. Um, though if I break it down, like this will probably last me. I still have a good amount in each bottle. So it'll probably last me another like at least month and a half and probably more so because I haven't been able to control the dollops. So if I were squeezing out with, you know, a proper hand, then it may last me a little bit longer. Um, but I, I like it. I mean, I'm glad that I tried it. Um, I'll keep using it. Yeah. So. So this is my skin a month after using only RNF with a little bit of CeraVe eye cream. Um, I think. It looks good. It's also hard to tell because I have my eyelashes done and I just got my eyebrows done. Um, and in my before and after pictures, my eyebrows are not done and I'm definitely not wearing eyelashes. So um, all in all, I'm happy with it. I think that I wish, no, I don't wish. I think that if I had more troubled skin that it would be more fun because then I could kind of see like the real difference it makes. Um, but I do feel clean and it smells good and yeah, check it out. If you like my skincare routine videos, like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you'd like to see and I will do it for you.